Hello, everybody. Uh, today, uh, we have such an honor to uh, welcome uh, Professor Wong to uh, talk about the uh, AI and also the tech industry. Hello, Professor Wong. Hello. AI technologies like DeepSeek are gaining significant attention recently. How can industries effectively integrate AI to boost productivity and foster high quality growth? Artificial intelligence is driving for productivity. The technology is universally applicable to different applications, be it industry, be it medicine, be it education, be it government. You can understand how this technology enhances productivity, whatever trade that you are in. I'm very glad to see that we have DeepSeek coming in at the beginning of this year. But ChatGPT as a product, firstly, it is not open source. That means not everyone can actually get access to that. The second thing is, even if you can get access to it, it can be quite expensive as well. In contrast, when we look at DeepSeek, this open source, it can do the job at 10% of the cost. This is a big breakthrough, and this helped a lot in promoting the new innovative productive forces in China and in Hong Kong. As China's most international city, how can Hong Kong harness AI and its strategic role in the Greater Bay Area to address economic challenges and stimulate growth locally and nationally? Uh, the government has actually urged the civil servants or departments to use AI, and that will increase the productive of the government. At last year, current budget, we may not be in a very healthy situation, i.e. we are in deficit in somehow. But even that, we should not forget about our economic growth. In order to have economic growth, you need innovation. In the budget, I think the financial secretary did a good job sort of supporting innovation development, spending some money on it. A small place like Hong Kong, we actually have five high quality universities. We should make good use of it. We can do good research, produce good ideas, good technology, good innovation. We have to put them into practice. In order to facilitate that, I think places like Shenzhen, Guangzhou and Dongguan have a larger market than we do. When you go overseas, you may need to have some financial support or investments. Then you may come back to Hong Kong again to get international companies, investors, venture capitalists. This actually has been the value chain that we have been working on in the past few years uh, in the Greater Bay Area. Namely, we will have Hong Kong as the research hub to do the R&D. And then we'll move the technology into the Greater Bay Area, the Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and Dongguan, for example, for proof of concepts. And the fourth part is actually internationalization. We come back to Hong Kong to get the financing in order to go abroad for the overseas international market. In fact, when you look at what has happened last year after the two sessions, or even in this year's two sessions, the central government is also emphasize a lot of going out internationalization. I think the role of GPA and Hong Kong in particular will be very useful to that. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. You so Thanks much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.